Here at Fox Creek Veterinary Hospital, we're really passionate about dentistry. Uh, periodontal disease is a very common problem in pets. So uh, today we're going to be going over some of the things that we do for a common dental. So um, stay tuned and we'll show you step by step what we're going to be doing. There's a couple things that are very important that we do before anesthesia. Uh, we place an IV catheter, we do pre-surgical blood work, we do an ECG to make sure that the heart is healthy. Uh, so if all of those things are okay, um, we uh, prepare the patient with the catheter. We're going to give an IV shot of propofol, which is a very safe, short-acting anesthetic. Uh, that we'll be able to place it in a tracheal tube so that we can breathe for the patient and uh, keep an airway so that uh, we can deliver oxygen, keep everything safe during the procedure. So we have digital x-ray, which we'll be doing in a little bit, um, which will kind of show you. Uh, we're very happy that we have that because that helps us see what's under the gum line, uh, which in cats and dogs, that can be about 30 to 40% of the disease that's in the mouth is actually stuff that we can't even see. It's under the gum line. So x-ray is very, very, very important um, and there's a certain percentage of veterinary hospitals that, that don't have dentistry uh, or dental x-rays rather. So um, that's something that's a tool that's really helped us. So um, periodontal disease is something that we see every day. Um, it's uh, very common for dogs to have a lot of tartar and a lot of plaque buildup on their teeth. And that's something that uh, um, is important to, to address. So this is a small ultrasonic scaler. Um, as you can see, uh, sound waves are being uh, bounced off the end of the tip and uh, also there's water that runs over it to keep it cool. Uh, but the sound waves are what actually break up the tartar on the teeth. So as we use that, um, it just very gently uh, starts to melt off the tartar. Um, as you can see on that tooth, you can see the tartar just uh, disappearing. Um, that's really important uh, because uh, sometimes people will use a scaler or use other mechanical type things that can actually damage the teeth um, when, uh, when they're removing the tartar. Um, that'll do more harm than good because that causes a bunch of little grooves to form um, on the teeth. And uh, those grooves will then be a perfect scaffolding for tartar to build up in the future. The gums have receded and reabsorbed part of the bone around the ligaments of that tooth and I can just pass my probe right through the middle of that tooth as you can see through the two roots. So unfortunately that tooth is going to need to be removed. Uh, we're going to have to do some x-rays on it first just to make sure uh, but a grade 3 forcation is something that uh, um, is, uh, is not good. Um, that's something that's going to cause a lot of uh, bone resorption and uh, infection under the gums. Um, it's also going to spread to the next tooth that will then spread to the next tooth. So um, you can see why we're passionate about dentistry. Uh, we see a lot of disease like this. This is painful. Um, this is something that uh, makes it difficult for the pet to chew, um, causes a lot of issues uh, uh, with the pet. And uh, there's also a strong correlation between periodontal disease and heart disease and also kidney disease. So um, very, very, very important. It's, it's hard to see uh, when, you're, when you're doing an exam or when you're looking in your pet's mouth that you know they may have problems like this grade three forcation, you wouldn't even know it. Um, all of this stuff is usually hiding under tartar. So, um, so this is why we're passionate about dentistry uh, because these kind of conditions we find every day and uh, we can remove that tooth, uh, make the pet a lot healthier and uh, take them out of pain. So it's extremely, extremely rewarding to do dentistry uh, because of the good that you can do um, just in a short, period of time you can really help um, them feel a lot better. After we clean the teeth we also use a disclosing solution which is this purple um, solution. I'm going to take my mask off just so I can talk a little bit better to you guys. Um, this purple solution is, is awesome and this is stuff that uh, helps us um, kind of catch all the little spots that we miss when we clean the teeth. Um, so we just paint this stuff on the teeth. It's, it's like magic. Um, it just uh, we paint it on the teeth and then in a second I'm going to rinse the teeth and then that's going to show me all the spots that I missed and it's um, surprising to me how many times uh, veterinary clinics don't do this. It's such an easy step um, and it, I, I just am I'm shocked um, how much stuff we've missed. Uh, so this is just, it's, I really, really like the disclosing solution. So once we put the, the purple stuff on, 
we're going to uh, rinse. And you guys will be kind of shocked when you see this because there's a whole bunch of spots on these teeth that the teeth look perfect, perfectly clean. And, uh, and after I rinse this stuff, there'll be a bunch of purple stuff. So I really want you to get a good shot of this because um, these are the little details that really make a difference. So if you can, you can see on all of these teeth, anything that's purple, there's still tartar there. This is our x-ray machine. So this is very similar to an x-ray machine that you would use at your human dentist. Um, this is uh, a, an actual a, a DR plate. So this is digital radiography. So we don't have, there's no film in here. We just, the, the image is captured on a plate and that's uh, delivered directly to the uh, computer. So this is uh, kind of the latest and greatest in, in x-ray technology. It, it's really, really nice because it speeds the process up. Uh, but then also it helps uh, um, with resolution and we can change contrast and do some different things that really help us uh, with, uh, with determining if a tooth needs to be removed or not. This is the x-ray that we just took, so I'm going to enlarge it. Um, so here's our big canine tooth here and you can see this, white li this black line here is, is the pulp of the tooth. And then all of this white area up here is bone. And we have two of these teeth. This has some extreme um, just if you follow the cursor just along here, there is, this whole thing is a pocket of infection and all of that bone is completely resorbed. So the bone, as you can see, the bone is up here. The bone should continue right along here, um, just it is, as it is around this root of this tooth. Um, all the bone is totally resorbed. So this is a huge pocket of at, like a big abscess in the bone. We've cleaned the teeth. Uh, we've done our disclosing solution, which is the purple stuff that uh, helps us find all the little spots that we missed. Uh, the next step is to polish the teeth. So we're gonna use a, uh, a little cute little pink tip here and we're gonna use some Profi paste and, uh, and we're going to uh, just polish the, the teeth. This is an important step as well. This is uh, something that um, enables us to um, just uh, polish the surface of the teeth. It makes it smoother and uh, helps resist bacteria and uh, tartar from, from reapplying on the, on the surfaces, or reattaching rather, on the surface of the tube.